Hi friends, um, I have a client with the 3D brush and that is the original best-selling brush by Saint Mascara that we've ever had. I used it only for two years, no other brushes. So I have my palette right here and I'm gonna show how to use the 3D brush. I have the um, old branding, that's why it's this color. So the Saint one um, is, a, is a slightly different color. Okay, so I am going to do um, my spots with my finger. So this is Sandy. The best thing about the 3D brush is it makes contouring really easy. And you can use, um, and then it has a thicker side to do the rest of your face. So I am going to just do that with my spots today around the nose and the reddest spots. Okay. So I'm gonna take the 3D brush, I'm gonna use the, um, the small end, I'm gonna squish it together, and I'm gonna go into henna today. And I'm just gonna give a light contour line all the way around. Mine has been squeezed <laughs> and used for a long time, so a new brush you probably need to push it together a little bit more. So I'm using a light contour today. I'm gonna go halfway or even three fourths of the way down my forehead. Okay. I'm just giving natural shadow where um, we already have shadow, okay? And then I'm gonna go into my nose and lightly do two sides and I'm going to take a bright color and go right down the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to use the bigger side and go into candle it right here. And I'm going to stipple the rest of my face. This brightens me while, um, Sandy just got rid of my redness. And I like to go on my eyes too to make it all the same color. So I'm gonna blend that in to where I had contour. I'm gonna blend my nose a little bit. And this is optional, but to even brighten it up a little bit, I'm gonna take linen and I went a little too far down. It's okay, we'll blend it. And just give an extra pop on my face and then we're gonna blend it. Okay. So pop color is optional. Some people don't wanna do an extra step and some people love how it brightens the face and you can kind of go down the center and around, okay? Now I'm gonna stick with the, the bigger side and I'm gonna do um, Love Spell. Okay. And I'm also gonna use Love Spell for my cheeks. So we stay up here You can have a nice natural look. You can go darker with your colors if you want a more glam look. I'm staying with natural today. I went below my contour line a little bit, so I'll just fix that. And I'll show you what to do with that. So if that happens, you take your brighter color and you swipe it under there and then you just fix it, okay? So I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because this one is a gloss, so gloss kind of sits differently on the, on the cheeks, okay? And optional is lining the lips and I'm gonna use indigo right here. And it's an easy way to make your lips appear bigger. 
And then you can also take your contour and go right under your lip like that. And then it also gives the appearance of a bigger lip too. Okay, that's all I'm doing today. Thanks for joining.